Defense Works Top Tinumbu's 2023 Supplementary Budget Proposal. I am Bola Oba, and this is Plus Politics. The Federal Executive Council, FEC, has approved $2.17 trillion as the sec second supplementary budget for this year, 2023. The $2.176 2 trillion 2023 supplementary budget proposal by President Bola Tinumbu submitted to the House of Representatives prioritized the security of Nigerians and their property as the first got the highest allocation of 476 point four. Uh, 476.543 billion naira. Works, on the other hand, was allocated 300 billion naira, while the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security got 200 billion naira. Joining me to dissect the supplementary budget is Paul Alaji, Chief Economist, SPM Professionals. Hello, Paul. Uh, what's the general take of of the supplementary budget, your panoramic shot, just for intro. Well, the supplementary budget has since been passed by the uh, National Assembly, and from what we have seen, there are some items in the budget that have sparked a lot of reaction. Our uh, white government have said they are going to be building the Top Milan Bridge, among other things. Some of the things that remains a huge concern remain the issue of vehicles and mobility building or, rea building or rehabilitating against the economy as we have seen that most of the monies for these things are not going to directly impact the economy even though the use are not in doubt we understand that the city uh, has um, as a um, uh, make appropriation for what they need themselves and now is the turn of the executive. And you know, a good turn, they say, deserves another. So what we have seen is rather a huge concern for most Nigerians. And from what is observed, is as seas authority have clarified that the yacht involved is not for the federal government, is not for the presidency, but for the, uh, for the Nigerian Navy. But by and large, what is allotted to uh, the loans has been multiplied by two, you know, from five billion now to ten billion. I think that is a reaction to where, what many people are concerned about. So, generally speaking, I think government we need to be more sensitive to the need of Nigeria because that seems not to be at the fore regarding the current supplementary budget. The big question, if we have time, would be how will this budget be funded? And I think it's the big elephant in the room. Uh, to be honest with you, um, the government, one of the government spokespersons has uh, denied the inclusion of the 4 billion naira for the yacht. They say the, the president, didn't, you know, it didn't come from them. How that became part of the public document, only God knows. Um, but what specifically, apart from the yacht, uh, what are some of your, your concerns? Well, the uh, purchase for the office of the, uh, first, of the lady. first lady, I think we should have uh, tried to minimize that. Among other things, including multiple vehicles for different places. I think that the issue of vehicle and yacht are two major concerns that many people have included innovations here and there. Uh, but looking at the economic drivers, uh, I, I'm one who is uh, particularly interested in the housing uh, sector, and I see a hundred billion naira uh, proposed for uh, for affordable housing. I don't expect that is going to be, but I just believe that it, it may also galvanize that sector. 
create some some uh, job opportunities for artisans and also help to um, alleviate the housing conditions of some of the low income earners. What's your take of that? The truth is that any amount you commit to housing is very important. We cannot say that commitment to housing is poor. I think it's commendable. I think we should do more. Uh, but the amount is too low. And the good news is that this is the first time of President Inubu. In the subsequent period, I believe is able to do more. In fact, it's important for us to do more in housing. And this is a major window for us to employ the downtrodden and those that don't have high level of education. So to me, that is commendable. But the amount voted to it is too small. I think we need to help it. The same way we need to help more in education. I mean, in, in um, education. So housing, education, and health, these are key areas government must vote money to. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm one who actually believes that, uh, you know, uh, housing is quite fundamental to also helping to alleviate the health situation in the country. Because if people live well, they seldom get, you know, some of the, some of the diseases and the infections that send them to the hospitals. Uh, but like, as the rally stated, 100, 100 billion may seem or may sound big, but when the tar hits the, the road, it may not do much. Uh, what other specific sector would you rather want more or less of? Hello? Well, health is very key for the kind of development that Nigeria requires. It is, it, is, uh, it is very, very key to also look at health uh, because if we don't fix health and we don't fix housing and education, honestly, we are digging the grave for the future. I've said time and again that we need to fix some of these key areas. Before Thank you so very much. Sir. Before we go on this short break, uh, okay, um, We've lost the gentleman, but we'll go on a short break now. And when we're back, we take, um, we continue the show. <laughs>